So in this next video, I'm going to be introducing a few different examples of how you might use Super Better as a meaningful tool in education. One of the uses that I'm going to outline here is um, perhaps in a counseling type of situation with a student that might be struggling with anxiety. How can you use Super Better as a tool uh, to help them gain some resilience and uh, learn to cope and overcome some of that anxiety? So a lot of the specifics on how to use Super Better I've covered in the previous screencast and so if you need to refer to that and you need to look that up please uh, refer to the previous video. Um, I've linked to it on our, uh, on our website. So I'm assuming that in this situation you as a counselor and as, as an educator have an ongoing relationship with a student that um, you know the student well, that you have a good sense of the scope of their struggles and their anxiety. And um, in, in these scenarios, if you feel like Super Better might be helpful here, uh, this is how you might be able to use it. So uh, as well, I'm also assuming that the student has agreed uh, that they do want to use Super Better as a tool to, to possibly overcome uh, some of their challenges and gain some resilience. So what you would do is introduce them to this tool and work closely with them. Uh, maybe dialogue a little bit about how you'd use it and uh, work through some of the goals that 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 individual student might have in terms of their anxiety. This might be a good time to talk to them about SMART goals or goals that would be meaningful to them and to do this in a way that, um, that really can build in some success in a, in a way that, that is respectful of the timeline that you have with them. If you have a short amount of time, make sure that those goals are reasonable in that situation. And I've just created an example here already. Um, I've created my superhero persona here. It's going to be Mr. Invisible because I'm going to be uh, working through uh, trying to get super better from anxiety. And my specific epic win in this situation is to attend school consistently. And in consist consistently here, I've, I've, I've specified it here that it's going to be four out of the five days of the week. And I'm really looking only at the next three weeks. This is going to help me as a student really be able to uh, gauge and whether or not I've been successful and um, and keep it on a timeline that um, I can I can definitely see and measure right so just um, working as a counselor working with the student you know you can create some quests here and I've, I've done a few here just as examples so one of the quests that I have here would be to uh, on my uh, on my journey towards my epic win of attending school regularly would be to ask Steve a buddy of mine uh, where can I meet up with him at lunchtime to so that would be one of my quests it seems very attainable just for me to do that maybe another another quest that I would have for myself is to simply just walk in the front door of the school and say hi to my guidance counselor right and just knowing that that's all I'm really looking at doing as a first step might help me to know that I have a connection and I'm able to um, make that connection right up front and uh, be re-energized by that quest and know that I've achieved that accomplishment. Maybe another thing that I could do here just to get me going is instead of waiting for a ride, I would walk to school just to get the blood flowing a little bit and for me to uh, be energized physically a little bit here. Right. So these are all different quests that I can do that would definitely help me move towards um, uh, um, these are all quests that I can do that would accomplish these are all quests that I can do that would help me work towards my uh, epic win here, right? As well, just as some examples of some power-ups that I might create for myself. There's lots that are here already, um, but uh, just for some examples, again, just to get me going, uh, get my motor running in the morning would be to do 10 push-ups as soon as I get up in the morning just to wake myself up and uh, possibly to eat breakfast. And I'm not really concerned right now. Um, I've just tried to make it uh, attainable. I'm not really concerned with what I'm eating, just as long as I am feeding my body every morning. So as a counselor, you may want to work with your student on identifying some of uh, the bad guys that they would face. And uh, arriving late might be one of them. That makes it uh, really difficult for me to want to go to class when I know that people will be staring at me when I walk in the classroom. Oftentimes, um, the student may have these have, may have spinning thoughts, thoughts that thoughts that race and run, and uh, just oftentimes maybe even run out of control and uh, into places that uh, really amp up my anxiety as a student. And as well, uh, maybe the student whenever uh, they start to stay in bed 
it's just a bit of a cycle, right? If I stay in bed, uh, I can avoid needing to go to school, but then again, that makes it more difficult for me to continue to re-engage with school, right? So these are some of the bad guys. And what, you, as a counselor, what you can do is, is identify some of these goals with them, work through it with them, and uh, continue to review these goals sort of on an ongoing basis, right? Whether it's um, in a week, whether it's in a few days, whether it's daily, uh, that would really depend on on what the student would be comfortable with and how regularly uh, they may want to do this. As well, you might want to be aware that the student may want to do this on their own. As soon as they're familiar with the tool, they might feel that this is a, a process that they want to engage with as an individual without necessarily having you right there with them, right? So some of the reasons that I think that um, this would be a useful and effective and meaningful tool is because it provides the student an opportunity to learn anytime and anywhere. This is uh, something that they can do and um, after going through it, if they find that it's successful and helpful, it's a strategy that they can continue to use um, both at home, uh, in the educational environment, in school, out of school, beyond the classroom, in, in a variety of situations. right? as well uh, because it's very customizable and uh, they can really personalize this and uh, have some fun doing it it can be something that's quite meaningful to them and uh, help them to gain ownership over what they're doing and really connect with the tool and want to keep on using it right going through this review process especially with um, a teacher or a counselor working alongside them it, it's really going to give them the opportunity to experiment try different things, reflect on what's worked, what hasn't worked, and just goes through that sort of active ex experimentation process to see what are some of the skills, what are some of the strategies that really work for them. And by using the allies feature, it really allows the student to reach out and connect with other people and collaborate with other people that can support them, really give them a boost of encouragement, uh, maybe support them when they're having a, a more difficult time and uh, really help them along this process so they don't feel that they're doing this on their own and uh, that they have the support of others whether it's you as a counselor or support of other friends and family as well. So hopefully through using Super Better uh, with the support of the counselor the student will be able to gain the resilience that they need, stay motivated to be able to overcome a lot of the challenges that they face with their anxiety and attain and achieve their epic win.